Okay, we're surrounded by Eurasian buckthorn right here, or common buckthorn. Comes in, takes whatever little sunlight it can find, turns out all the light for all the rest of the plants. It produces a, a berry, it looks like a small wild grape. Uh, in, in the prairies and whatnot, you often find it in clusters around the native uh, shrub or, or tree, and it begins to take over. This plant will sprout and grow in extremely low light conditions. It will produce so much shade that it kills virtually everything else. Uh, it's the bane of the oak forests in this region. It darkens the forest preserves to the extent that no oaks or hickories can reproduce at all. The buckthorn stays green into November. It takes a very heavy freeze to knock the leaves off. So you can see it in, in the native woodlands where the buckthorn is covering the lower areas and the big old grandfather oak trees are still up there producing acorns that are not going to sprout because there's no light. That's the buckthorn story. Glenview has a terrific heritage, and much of it is because of the natural resources we enjoy. The reason we have an ordinance to protect our lands is so that others don't suffer from these seeds, which can take over and ruin the quality of life and the economic benefits that we get from having a good green infrastructure. When we have areas that are healthy, we have a great quality of life, we can enjoy for recreational purposes and for science and learning with our family. If we all take care of our properties by complying with the ordinances on invasive species, we'll have a better community overall.